G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do something a little bit different for you today because you know I do like to experiment. I've been on a swiping uh, sort of rampage lately. I've done heaps of swipes, so been missing my little flip cup paw. So what I'm gonna do is, as you can see, I've got lots of cups here. I've got seven cups. And this is a 30 centimeter by 60 centimeter canvas, which is 12 by 24 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four cups up that end, three cups down this end, and I'm going to flip them. But I'm going to do a, um, a push and pull. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. I've done them before on other videos. I um, haven't done any recently, so I thought I'd just see how that technique fits into my flip and drag. Right, pouring medium. My glue, water and Floetrol mix, you guys all know that by now, I don't need to go through it again. And that is mixed two parts, uh, sorry, equal parts pouring medium to paint. So in my cups I have 60 grams, which is two ounces of pouring medium and um, 60 grams of paint, so equal amounts. So that's 120 grams and I'm going to put in three drops of treadmill silicone. One, two, three. Oops, that was four. I'm not going to do the white. Do I want another one? No, that'll do. I'll see how it goes with just three drops. Give that a good stirring. So I've got a warm red this one and a warm yellow i have got a white and then i've got a navy this one here and a turquoise and then a really deep greenish color um, i'll tell you about the colors shortly and then i've got another big cup of white and this one i have thinned out a little bit more these ones leave a little mound on a mound. That one's thickened up again while I've been waiting. Naughty blue, it always does that. I've thinned it with water. I have to put another drop of silicone in there. I'll just not stir it very well. Um, leaves a mound on a mound. Still is a little bit thick. I'm just gonna have to go with it. I have um, the green, the blue, the two reddish tones, they were all quite thick. I had to add water. Okay, um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of white in the bottom. Might as well line these up for my layering. I don't want to use too much of this white because I want this for my sort of background, my push and pull. Okay, here we go, layering. Might actually have to make up some more white. I forgot that I needed to put some in my the bottom of my cup. Actually, maybe I can get away with just doing one layer, seeing as it's yeah, I'll do that. I'll just do one layer. Since I've got seven cups, I don't really have enough paint to do two layers, unless I made them very thin layers. But let's just see what happens with one layer. I haven't done that for... Um, have I done that? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so that was Deep Sea my bluey green oceany color and this one is turquoise it's a public holiday today it's the Australia Day holiday Monday so I don't have to work 
I did my unicorn paw this morning. Did you guys see my unicorn? Did you like her? Little rainbow. I called her rainbow. She had the rainbow mane. Very pretty. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Got it out of my system. Wouldn't mind doing a lion next. Or a mermaid. I also want to do a mermaid. Oh, this is too thick again. I have to add more water to it. Just thickens up so much, so quickly. It wasn't pouring in nicely, it was just kind of blobbing in. I made it up a while ago and I put less paint in to start with. Instead of doing 60 grams, I did 50. And then I added water, and then I added more water, and now I've added water again twice. They seem okay at the time when you mix them up, um, but it's not until, you know, 10 minutes later that you go back and it's thickened up. So it's very annoying. So just be aware of that when you guys are mixing your paints, especially those that make, make your paints and then, you know, you want them to sit for an hour. You're probably going to find that you have to add more paint, uh, more water, and then you have to stir them again. And then they get all frothy again. Okay, some white. And as you can see, I've separated my cool colours with the white. And then I've gone with my warm colours, so separated the cool and the warm colours with a layer of white because you know what happens when you put blues and reds together you get purple and then when you put your blues and your yellows together you get green which I'm not that fussed about because I've got greens in here anyway Interesting to see what it's going to look like with just the one layer. Not that it's a lot thicker than the layers that I normally do, it's just there's so many cups that my small amount of paint is not going that far really. This one needs a bit more paint. this one looking it should be all right they all have thickened up a little bit and I'm not going to put white on the bottom I want to save all my white for my push and pull I'll flip these over and then I'll show you my colors and then I can clean up a little bit and we'll get started. I have a pet hate. I'll tell you about my pet hate on Facebook with these um, acrylic pouring groups. Someone puts up a photo of their art, which they're very proud of, which I'm sure we all are. We're very proud of our paintings. So they put it up and um, they tell us about it and, you know, little bits of information and what colours and things. Now, five minutes later, someone puts up their photo. Oh, I did one too. I did a similar one, they say, and put up their photo. Like, seriously, can't the person have their five minutes of fame without being hijacked? If you want to show people your pause, start your own post. Don't hijack someone else's. That's my pet peeve. I can't help it. I give that poor person their five minutes of pain. Let them show their work. Let them talk about their work. And then um, if you want to show yours, that's fine. Start your own thread. Anyway, there we go. My little grumble for the day. Okay, so we have a white. These are all globals. And the 
this is deep sea. This is that dark greeny blue ocean sort of a colour. And then we have the dark blue navy, which is deep space. And turquoise. Just plain turquoise. And then the two warm colours are warm red and warm yellow. So these two will you know, make a nice sort of orangey colour together, which is fine. Okay, now I hope I've got enough white to do what I want to do otherwise I'm going to have to make up a little bit more and it's a little bit thinner it's only leaving a tiny amount not a mound on a mound which these other colors did actually oh I forgot I forgot that I'm doing my push and pull I need to move them down a bit oh my silly duffer aren't I okay so a little bit of white paint behind my cups I have to pull these ones down and then flip my canvas around and do the others because I can't do them backwards. Okay, now I wanted some more paint for the center, so bear with me. I'm just going to make up some more white. Pop that there just while the paint's sitting there. I have not sprayed my cups today. Um, I just wanted just the silicone in here. I didn't want the extra silicone. Um, what will I do? I will do 50. Now let's go 60. Oh, 50. 50 grams of pouring medium. And because I want this a little bit thinner, because it's my flow enhancer, um, I'll just go 40, there we go, 41, that'll do. So that's just going to be my, my flow enhancer, I don't want it to be too thick, because if you're using a, a paint like at the top or between your cups, you don't want it to be too thick because then uh, the paint that's in the cups, it might have trouble merging or flowing over this paint and you get a bit of a ridge. Whereas if this one is nice and um, a little bit on the thinner side, then these paints can flow into them easier, better, and uh, you just get a better result, a more flowing sort of effect. So, there we go. How's that looking? Go away, fly! Alright, little mound. That's fine. Okay, so a little bit on the edge. I kind of want it just a little bit between each cup. Just sort of joining that blob with that blob is kind of what I'm doing. That blob with that blob. And then another bit on the side. Probably got way too much paint, but I wanted lots of white. There we go. Didn't need all that after all but i've got a little bit left if i need it okay so this is exciting isn't it push and pull uh i'll get an empty cup and i'll show you what i'm going to do hope you can see on the side here so if that's the cup there what i'm going to do is i'm going to push it up into the white and then bring it back so push it up and then back instead of my usual just drag down pushing up into the white and dragging back. So that white is going to hopefully pull over the top of my colours. That's what I'm after. So push and pull. Let's do it. See how it's sort of gone over the top? Now I'll do these ones first and then as I said I'll pop the, um, turn the canvas around. So I'll just put a bit more there, seeing as I've got it. like a lot of white to come over the top. Ready, push and pull. Okay, if it goes over, see that's better, see how it's gone over the top? It's more what I was after. Oops, got some left in my cup there. All right. I've still got quite a bit of paint left in the cup. 
see what happens. I may put some back. Actually, I think I will because, because, because um, I've only got one layer of each colour in my cup. So if I leave paint in the bottom, um, I'm actually leaving, you know, maybe one or two colours in there. So the best to try and get it all out. We'll see how that looks once I've flipped it over around. Maybe if I flip a little bit better, I can probably need to bring the cups further down, actually. That's probably what I'm doing wrong. Because I'm flipping and I'm actually losing a lot of it off the edge. So I probably need to start maybe halfway down, really, to do a proper flip and drag like that that's better <laughs> much better maybe i can flip some of that paint off whoops got cocky there didn't i let's just push some of that off okay so that's looking pretty good what i was wanting lots of white over the top Got a little bit of paint left in that cup there. Add a little blue to that corner. All right. That's looking very nice, if I do say so myself. Maybe not the bits that I've added in. But uh, let's see. That's okay for my first go, isn't it? Well, not my first go, but I haven't done one for ages. Well, actually, I've never done a flip and drag, push and pull. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Flip and drag, push and pull. I won't be putting that on the YouTube channel. It's just a bit much. Okay, let's wait. <clears throat> Cells are quite small. Mix is probably a little on the thick side. It's that naughty blue that kept thickening up. Pop. <clears throat> Pop. Any more? This is what I don't like to do, and I've told you guys a million times, and I've done it again. I put the stripe on the side. So when I tilt that off, I'm going to get this wave. Whereas if I don't put stripes on the side, when I tilt, I just get a beautiful flowing background. I don't know why I keep doing it. I forget. I forget. I'll have to tilt that off. Because the, um, the flowing background is so much prettier than the stripy um, bent background. It's okay if it's stripy, but not bent. So we're going to get a lot of white sections in here, which is great. I wanted that negative space, negative space, without it being like a block of white. It's kind of blended. So that's looking nice there. Lots of cells there. Let's try for a few more up here. Overtorched. So where the white is, it's thicker, and <clears throat> obviously there's no colours underneath parts of the white where I had that plain white there at, on top of my cups. There's no other colours there, so there's no point really torching it because there's nothing underneath, and the white is an opaque colour, so um, it really needs other cells to come up from the bottom. Um, and make those pretty little cells. Now where's my little corner catcher? There. Uh, let's go for this one first because this is going to be a pretty little corner. I do think my mix was a little on the thick side. See how small my cells are? Um, I mean where the white is they are smaller but that's okay. Oh, I'm going to have trouble 
I'll get into that side. Ouch. I just leant over the heat gun and touched my arm. Don't lean over, lean over a hot gun, you guys. Spread some of that out. That'll help that corner go over. I thought I had plenty of white, you know, but um, may still need a little bit more. No, I, I need to. I need to stretch it. Otherwise, my cells are going to stay small. I do need to stretch everything. Jiggle, jiggle. I'm liking that background. Very pretty. I'm a bit disappointed I put these extra stripes in now because they look more bent. You know, they're really going to be bent. Whereas these background stripes aren't as stripy. <laughs> Definitely have to do this again. And don't put extra paint in. I'm going to lose my, my shapes. Now I'm going to come back this way because I want to come up here and just move some of that paint off the side there. Get that stripe off that I don't like. Take it down there. Get that stripe off. And there, that's orange can go too. Don't like you very much, orange. Come back. Actually, now that I look at it, it, it doesn't seem that thick after all, because look, it's overstretching. It's tricky to know. Tricky. Working out your consistencies is the hardest thing, you guys. It really is. Just when you think you got it. Okay. Let's zigzag. <laughs> a little bit of white on my corner. Don't. That doesn't have to go any further. I like that corner. Probably lost quite a lot of white actually. I tell you guys, don't carry over the top, and I just did. Okay, let's go. Don't really want to lose too much of that, but I want that to go and that blob there to go, so I'll try. Trying to get rid of it that way. That's enough. Come back. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Just bring the paint back down here a little bit more because that's a bit overstretched. Mm, I don't want to lose that big blue cell there. I was trying to straighten this out but I can't. I think that's about it. What do you reckon? Mm. It's okay. 
as I said, I would have preferred it if I didn't have these stripes in there and just had all this pretty hazy white background. That's what I was after more so. So um, let's do it again. Of course, do it again. And how's the thickness looking? I'm looking for some hazy cells. I'm going to torch a little bit over here in this white. Just a little bit everywhere really. See if there's anything that wants to come out and play. such a lot of white on here I don't mind some smaller cells popping up we've got a few coming through here here oh that's a bit too much there there's a few there um yeah I think next time maybe I will cut back on the colors instead of doing 60 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint I'll cut back I'll do 50 and 50 and increase my white. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then when I flip, I'll put the cups in the middle and push up and really get a lot of paint and bring it back. See how I go with that. Okay, <clears throat> but um, not bad for a first go, I think. Clean my sides. Corner needs a little bit of turquoise. And this corner needs a bit of turquoise too. schemes. A little bit of white there. And clean that off. That uh, deep space, not deep space, the deep sea, the dark turquoise, that's a pretty colour, isn't it? Through here you can see little bits of it. Maybe, see that's it there and that's the turquoise. I'm going to keep this one and go a lighter turquoise. I might try my peacock with that one instead because they're quite similar. I need some white for that corner. Try not to pick up any other colour. So a little bit more white would be nice, a little bit more negative space would have been a bit better, I think. Would have been happier with that. So yeah, I will do it again. I won't scrape this one just yet. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll do the other one and then I can compare. And then if I still want to scrape this one, I will. I'm going to start... Um, painting over some of my canvases because I just can't A, afford to keep painting and B, keep keeping all these canvases. I need to store them. I can just see some of the paint breaking there. Probably was a little bit on the thick side. Kind of looks like it's curdled. Um, and lots of people want to buy my paintings but usually they're overseas and when I say, oh, you know, this size, 12 by 24 inch, it's going to cost you $50 in postage. Um, they're not all that keen. So, I mean, I have sent them to some lovely people that have bought my paws, but um, generally 
Um, postage seems to be a bit of a deterrent to overseas people because this size uh, 12 by 24 inch canvas costs $50 to post by the time I've bought all the packaging, bubble wrap and postage cost. But if you do see one you like, let me know. It'll give you a good deal. <laughs> Need to get rid of some of them. Make some room for some more. So there she is. Push and pull. Okay, so that's really pretty. I like that. I do like it. I just wish I didn't have those stripies. So let's go again. No stripies in the middle. More white. Right, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.